Hi everybody, my name is Dmitry and in this video I want to show you how to install and set up the Fleming WordPress theme. This is a free theme, but a premium version with even more features is available. In this video you will learn how to set up the homepage just like the theme's demo. I will also explain the theme's features, settings and customization options. In the second part of the video I will explain the difference between the free and the premium versions of the theme. I will also provide an exclusive discount code for the premium version of the theme, so stick around. You will find all the necessary links in the description below. Ready to get started? Started, let's go. This video was recorded using WordPress 5.5.3 and version 1.1 of the Fleming theme. Some parts of this video might be obsolete in future versions of WordPress or of this theme. To install the free Fleming theme, go to the dashboard and open the themes page in the appearance section. Click the add new link and search for Fleming in the search field. Hover the theme and click the install link. It will take a few seconds for the theme to be downloaded and installed on your website. Click the Activate button to activate the theme. If you are installing Fleming on a new WordPress website, then this is what the homepage will look like after activating the theme. When WordPress is installed, it automatically adds some standard widgets to the sidebars. Let's start by removing them. Now let's look at the theme's demo and I will show you how to set up every part of it. It's a simple process that anyone should be able to replicate. In the header we have a website logo, the primary menu, the secondary menu and a widgetized area with a single sample widget. After that comes a full width slideshow that can display up to 5 featured pages. The pro version of the theme can also display posts, not just pages. Next comes the Featured Pages section, created with a custom widget included in the theme. After that we have the Recent Posts section with two sidebars on both sides. And finally the Websites footer, which is divided into four widgetized columns. The theme's demo contains a collection of pages and blog posts. The home page is set to display the latest posts, which is why we have a blog post section on the home page. I'll get back to this topic later in the video. Now let's take a closer look at every section of the website and I'll show you how to set everything up. Let's start by uploading a logo for our website. Go to the Customize page and open the Site Identity panel. Upload a new image or select an existing one from your media library. After you select the image, click the Skip Cropping button. The Fleming theme has two menu locations in the header of the website, primary and secondary. The primary menu can have multiple levels with a drop-down effect. I have a separate video about creating and using menus. If you are new to WordPress, I suggest that you watch that video. Another important thing to know about this theme is its mobile menu. On smaller screens, the theme displays a collapsible menu. Your mobile menu can be the same as your primary menu, or you can create a separate menu for smaller screens. To add pages to the slideshow on the homepage, open the Customize page, then the Theme Settings panel and the Homepage sub-panel. Enable the featured pages on the homepage and then choose up to 5 pages. You can also select a dark or light color scheme, as well as enable the slideshow's autoplay feature. Now let's look at the featured pages custom widget that is included in the theme. Open the widgets page. The featured pages widget lets you add a row of up to 3 pages. You can choose to display the page thumbnails, titles, excerpts and the read more links. You can use multiple instances of this widget to display any amount of pages on the home page.
Before I show you what else can be done with a home page, let's look at how the footer is set up. There are four widgetized columns of equal width. The demo uses only standard widgets in the footer, a text widget in the first column and navigation menu widgets in the other three columns. There are a few more things that you can do with the home page. On the settings reading page, the demo is set to display the latest posts. You can, however, choose a static page as the home page and a separate page as your blog page. If I do that, you can see that the featured pages section is no longer displayed on the home page and it looks just like a regular static page. For this reason, the theme comes with two additional custom page templates. Let's edit the About page which we have as our home page. In the Page Attributes box, if we select the Only Widgets template and save the page, we can see that now our home page displays only our widgets and nothing else. If we select the Widgets plus Page content and template and save a page, we have our widgets and the about page content. This allows you to create a home page that fits your specific needs. Now that we're finished with the home page, let's look at all the other theme features, settings and customization options. Let's open the customize page and then the theme settings panel. The header can use a compact layout or a centered layout. You can choose if you want to have two sidebars, only one sidebar or no sidebars at all. This is a global setting that will affect all the pages on your website. You can also display featured images in pages and posts. In the home page subpanel, you can change the heading of a blog post section. In the footer sub-panel, you can change the copyright text and enable or disable the Academia Themes credit link. It's that simple. The free version of the theme also comes with some basic color customization options. Go to the Customize page and open the Theme Colors panel. You can change some of the main colors in the theme. It's quick and easy to implement your brand colors. Now that I've demonstrated what the free version of the theme can do, let's look at the additional features that are available in the premium version. After you purchase and install Fleming Pro, all you have to do is activate it on your website. When you switch from Fleming Lite to Fleming Pro, all your settings will be transferred over, so you won't have to redo anything. Let's start with the free additional custom widgets, call to action, featured page and recent posts. The Call to Action widget lets you easily create simple buttons. You can choose the button text and URL. You can also set custom colors for every widget. The Featured Page widget can be used in the sidebars to bring attention to important pages. Simply choose the page and the desired layout, standard or overlaid. If you don't want to use the page's featured image, you can choose any other image from the media library. You can also set a custom color for each widget. The Academia Recent Posts widget lets you display recent blog posts, optionally filtered by category. You have the same look and options as the Featured Pages widget. In the premium version of the theme, you can control the layout of every page and post separately. So you can have pages with two sidebars, one sidebar on either side or no sidebars at all. We might want this page to have just the primary sidebar and hide the page's title. Edit the page, choose the sidebar, hide the title and save the changes. Another really useful thing is the ability for parent pages to display their sub-pages. If we edit this page, we can see this checkbox for display child pages. Let's click it. Now we get to choose the layout and some more options. Let's save a page and see what happens. 
we get this list of child pages. What else can we do with this? Let's disable the secondary sidebar and change the layout of the child pages section. How great is that? It takes just a few clicks and the theme does everything for you. Now let's look at some of the other theme settings that are available in the premium version. The dynamic menu is a feature that is very useful on websites with a lot of pages. When you have pages with multiple child pages, a menu is automatically generated in the sidebar. This menu makes it easier to navigate from one sibling page to another. Here you can choose if you want the dynamic menu in the primary or in the secondary sidebar. You can choose if you want to display large or small featured images for posts and pages. In the header panel, you can enable or disable the pre-header widgetized area, which is displayed by clicking on a special toggle button. For example, you could add a search widget and some social icons to the pre-header widgetized area. Clicking this button will open or close this area. The toggle button displays a font awesome icon. You can choose which one. In the footer, you can choose the amount of widgetized columns that you want to have. For posts, you can display or hide the published date on archive pages. Inside posts, you can display or hide the published date, the posts category, tags and the author's bio. The premium version of Fleming includes font customization options. Go to the Customize page and open the Theme Fonts panel. Here you can choose from the full list of Google Fonts, change the font for different theme sections, tweak the font size, style and so on. And finally, the Fleming Pro theme comes with a one-click demo import feature. If you're using the theme on a new website with no content, it takes a minute or two to have a complete replica of one of the theme's demos. This will help you get started even quicker. These are some of the main differences between the free and premium versions of Fleming. You can find some useful information on the themes page in the appearance section. On this page, you'll find links to theme documentation and to support resources. Please feel free to get in touch if you have any other questions. Alright, that's gonna do for my demonstration of a Fleming WordPress theme. If you enjoyed the video, you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And as promised, here's an exclusive discount code for the purchase of a premium version of this theme. You can see the code on your screen. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.